Now, although we could use the content script CSS to change the font color, what I really want to do is allow the user to change the font color to any color they wish to. So I'm going to show you how to display a color picker on the pop-up HTML and then change the font color on the web page based on the color they select. So for the color picker, we are going to be making use of something called as JS color. So go to jscolor.com and click on download JS color. So you're going to be provided with a zipped file and when you extract it, you have these two files, JS color and then the minified version. So copy this minified version and paste it in the page font style extensions folder. So now we can go ahead and include all the references to the JavaScripts. So I have this jQuery and popup.js and also the jscolor.min.js. So all the script references here and let me just move this on to the head tag. All right, so now if you have a look over here, it says to use this, we just need to include this JS color JavaScript file and then a class and a value in our input tag. So I'm just going to copy this, so copy this and we already have our input tag and we can just paste this class and a value. So let's just change the value ffcc00. So let's save this and now when we have a look at our extension, all right, let me reload this because I'm not able to access it. Okay, so when I open this, I have ffccoo, but I get this color picker, but it's not completely visible. So let's try to change the width and height of our popup.html. So over here, I'm gonna have a style tag and for the body, I'm going to have a min width. So this is going to be, let's say 250 pixels and then a min height and this is going to be 150 pixels. So now let's save this. And when we open our icon or click on our icon and click on this value, I get this color picker. And when I change or change or when I hold my mouse button and I move my mouse, the value changes. So there we go, we have our color picker in place.